Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk about periodic trends. What happens from one element to another as we go to the right in the periodic table or down the periodic table? Uh, certain trends are consistent uh, for atomic radius, ionization energy, and electronegativity. So first, as we go down the periodic table, uh, there happen to be more and more uh, shells, uh, principal energy levels, that hold electrons. And so uh, each shell occupies some space. And so if there's more shells, those shells have to get further and further from the nucleus. So for example, here where there was one shell, here there are two. Outer electrons on this will be further from the nucleus than outer electrons for hydrogen. And so as we go down, atomic radius will increase uh, due to increasing numbers of shells. But atomic radius uh, will decrease as you go to the right. Uh, this is because, yes, you might have the same number of shells of electrons. Here, hydrogen has one electron, and uh, it is in principal energy level one. And here, helium has two electrons, and they're both in also principal energy level one. Though we fill out the same number of shells, we get more and more protons. And so the outer electrons end up being held closer and closer to the nucleus as uh, the protons do pull the electrons in close to the nucleus. Uh, we also uh, have trends in ionization energy. So ionization energy is the energy required to pull an electron off of an atom. Yes, electrons are in atoms. They're sort of attracted to the nuclei as electrons are negative and nuclei have positive protons. And so it is hard to pull electrons off of the atom. It takes energy. And that energy is ionization energy, the energy to pull an electron off and create an ion. Uh, uh, an ion, by the way, has a positive charge or negative charge. but in this case, making positive charge. So as you go to the right in the periodic table, ionization energy will increase. Uh, this is because you do get more and more protons, which uh, pull those outer electrons uh, more tightly to the nucleus. They're more attracted to the nucleus. And so uh, you'll have more energy required to pull those electrons off. So kind of going back up, it would be harder to pull an electron off of helium than hydrogen because the helium has twice as much positive charge holding that negative electron. So uh, we also have some trends like going down the periodic table, ionization energy will decrease. Uh, going down, uh, the outer electrons will be further and further from the nucleus. So going back to our previous example, uh, the outer electrons around lithium are further from the nucleus than they were for hydrogen. And so uh, those outer electrons will be less and less attracted to the nucleus. Uh, we know this because uh, according to Coulomb's law, the attraction between positive and negative is inversely related to distance. As distance increases, the attraction will decrease. Um, so uh, the attraction of the outer electrons will decrease and the energy required to pull them off will also decrease. Finally, we also have electronegativity. So electronegativity describes the relative attraction of electrons in bonds to the nuclei of an element. Uh, so the trends for electronegativity are the same as for ionization energy. Uh, they both describe how much an outer electron is attracted to the nucleus. It's just this uh, electronegativity describes the attraction of outer electrons that are in bonds uh, to the nucleus. So. Um, as you go to the right in the periodic table, electronegativity will increase uh, because uh, the outer electrons will be uh, more and more attracted uh, to the nuclei as there are more and more protons. Uh, so uh, we can see uh, some electronegativity values here. You'll need these in a couple weeks. Um, you know, as you go to the right, uh, you have increasing values. Um, and so what that will mean later on is like fluorine, the most electronegative element, if it has a bond to say carbon, the, the electrons in the bond will be pulled more towards fluorine. It has a higher electronegativity. And so uh, fluorine will end up getting a partial negative charge as it's pulled those negative electrons towards it. Uh, and then carbon will get a partial positive charge. All this results in polarity. We'll learn about that in a couple weeks. Oh, so. 
uh, as we go to the right, electronegativity increases. Uh, but here, neon, which is furthest to the right, uh, we don't even know it's electronegativity. Um, this is a noble gas. We've not been able to have or observe it bond to any other element, so we can't see the attraction uh, of an electron in a bond between another element and neon uh, towards neon. So we can't know the uh, electronegativities of these noble gases. Now electronegativity will go down as you go down the periodic table as uh, the outer electrons end up getting further and further from the nuclei as we get larger and larger shells. And so those outer electrons uh, in bonds will be further from the nucleus and so less attracted to the nucleus. So electronegativity decreases as you go down the periodic table. All right, so uh, you will have some questions where you have to identify which things have higher electronegativity or higher uh, ionization energy or radii. Um, so uh, here's the trend. Remember, radius gets uh, larger as you go down uh, so it gets smaller as you go to the right and also smaller as you uh, actually smaller as you go up and smaller as you go to the right the smallest radii elements are going to be in the top right and the largest radii elements will be in the bottom left um, so uh, what has a larger radius is it uh, lithium or helium right so uh, going back to earlier lithium has more shells uh, helium has fewer shells. So that's kind of one way to think about it in terms of the number of shells, but basically uh, closer to the bottom left, that's going to have the larger radius. Closer to the top right, uh, that'll have the smaller radius. Um, and then similarly, similarly uh, ionization energy we know decreases as we go down or it increases as we go up, and it also increases as we go to the right. So the highest ionization energy element uh, or elements are at the top right, and the lowest uh, ionization energy elements are in the bottom left of the periodic table. And then you have the exact same trends for uh, electronegativity as well. So what has greater uh, electronegativity? Is it, um, is it hydrogen? Uh, or is it lithium? Uh, well, that's going to be hydrogen. It, as you go up, it increases. Um, what has greater ionization energy, lithium or helium? Top right, uh, elements have greater ionization energy. It's harder to pull an electron off of helium than it is uh, for lithium.